Thank you for tuning in. Hope you're safe and well. Woodsy here, and today we're going to be looking at the upcoming Nike SB Dunk releases for 2023. Right, so this is slightly different to the videos I normally do. I normally have the product in hand and talk about it and do the on feet and stuff like that, but I thought it'd be interesting to do upcoming shoes and talk about what I'm excited about what is interesting coming out and just general releases that should be coming up with Nike SB Dunk. So let's start off with some pairs that actually released at the end of last year, but actually are only really mainly hitting the shops now at the beginning of 2023. So let's get started. Starting off with the orange label pairs that are not orange label, that are gonna be in stock constantly, but are not currently in stock that should always be readily available, but aren't currently readily available. So you've got the white leather uh, with a white midsole and gum bottom. And then you've got the black Nubuck white midsole and gum bottom. Both Nike SB Dunk lows, uh, retailing for about 100 UK pound. Uh, and I think they're gonna, that's, that works out to be 130 US dollars, I think. Um, these are almost like an orange label release, uh, but the quality doesn't seem to be quite as good. And what they've done is they've basically made a black or a black uh, square instead of an orange square. Um, these are colors that are pretty similar to ones that have released prior, and they're really solid colorways. I like both of them. I like both of the look of the materials. I like the simpleness of the color blocking, and obviously these are gonna be fantastic for people who actually want to skate their dunks having readily available Nike SB Dunk lows. So it'd be interesting to see these when they hit shops. Um, the materials, as I said, they're not quite as premium as the orange label. Uh, I was watching uh, from the ground up uh, and Moondust was talking about them because he's already got these pairs and he was saying how the leather on the white pair isn't the greatest, but it's still not too bad. And obviously it's so cool that these are gonna be hopefully always in stock. So the white pair has like a tumbled effect leather, and then the black pair has like a, a, a black nubuck. They should both have hopefully spare laces, I'm assuming black laces and white laces. And yeah, I dig both pairs, so hopefully I'll be trying to pick them up. On to the next one. So the next one is the Adobe's. Uh, again, this was it, uh, released technically last year. Uh, it's a Nike SB Dunk Low Adobe. Um, and I feel like this is part of a pack, like a repair sort of pack uh, going from the insole. But we'll get onto that in a minute. I'm just going to get images up so that I have reference. A lot of the images are from uh, Sneaker News and they've acquired them from Eva private selection or other people that have obviously got in hand or it's actually the images that are going to be shown when these are sold. So this pair, I didn't think people were going to dig this pair as much as they do, uh, but they seem to be really into it. I do definitely like it. I really like when you have a canvas toe box. Um, so yeah, let's have a little talk about it. So you've got a, a gum sole, so it's completely gum. and because it has that completely gum sole and a majority one color on the top, I actually thought that these were gonna release with the Deacons, the, the green hires that released last year, but they didn't. You've got on that red upper, you've got around the toe box, the eyelets, and then the wing going around to the back of the hill is in this red suede material. It is a tumbled red swoosh. Uh, tumbled red heel tab with contrasting white Nike stitching. You've got white stitching as well around that heel. Uh, and then you've got a white sock liner that matches with the uh, tongue tag that's white. And then you've also, I think the back of the tongue is white as well. And then you've got a nice red piping around that tongue. Puffy tongue, but you do have flat red laces in these. I'm not too sure on the spare lace. I don't know whether they are also flat laces. And I know flat laces are very hit and miss, uh, but I actually don't mind these flat laces. I don't think they look that, that bad, but obviously if you want to swap out for oval laces, swap them out. And these might even come with um, oval laces. I'm not too sure. I would assume they come with spare laces. The other panels like the toe box behind the swoosh and around the hill is in this sort of canvas material. And as I said, I quite like uh, the longevity of that kind of material on the toe box anyway. 
Um, I feel like these are quite similar in some respects because of that all gum sole and that majority one color upper to the Island Greens or the Jade Horizons, which is a pair I actually own and I actually really like. And because they were just more like a general GR and the fact that they released at a time where people weren't going mental over Nike SB Dunks, um, they were pretty slept on, I feel. So yeah, so, and then going to that sort of repair sort of pack idea. So I've got that, I've got the picture on my phone of this one. Um, so the insole has all different bits of like, oh, what comes along with, with, with skating. So you've got, where are we? You've got, you've got tools on it. You've got putting concrete on a barrier so you can skate it. You've got uh, repairing the side of a shoe where you've skated it, either with a patch or shoe goo. You've got removing anti-skate bumps from a rail. Uh, and then, yeah, it's just repeating itself. Uh, and it's really cool that you've got that detail on it. It's on a white background and it's almost like, yeah, just like blueprints of that. Yeah, it's pretty cool. And that ties in to the next pair. So <laughs> let's go to the next pair. Right, right. to the next pair. So this is uh, another pair where I'm looking at images and references and stuff from Sneaker News, but I think they've used, well, I definitely know they've used the images from Private Selection who seem to get all the early pairs. I really, really, really like this pair. So this is the Nike SB Dunk Low and they're sort of calling it the Wheat Toe. I really like this pair. Uh, I prefer this to the Adobe's, although I do like the Adobe's. I just really like the color blocking, I like the colors, the materials. There's a lot about this shoe that I like. Starting off, so you've got an all white sole. You've got a nice contrasting Nike SB shield in a navy at the bottom of the sole. And then on the upper, you've got suede around the toe box uh, and on the toe box itself in this wheat color. And then all the back, all the rear end, is this almost like really dark navy canvas, all that's like that Carhartt canvasy denim -y sort of look material, even on the swoosh, on everything. And I really, really like it. Now, on this, you've got that sort of stitching around the lace holes at the top of the cuff, which is similar to the Adobe's, but on this one, on the Eyelet, you've actually got metal around. And actually, when I talk about later pairs that are also upcoming, they also have that metal. So it's very interesting to see that they've added a bit more sort of strength to the uh, lace holes. Um, and there's sort of common themes they seem to be adding on pairs that seem to be releasing this year. Also, the sock liner is that dark navy, uh, and it is your, looks like your standard sort of like meshy, um, tough, durable sock liner. And then the insoles are really nice wheat color, and then they have that sort of repair or that sort of build or sort of like basically things to do with skating. They've taken, putting the concrete on the barrier, and they've got that on the left and right. And really simple, but it's a really, uh, what I feel like almost like a very iconic looking insole for a dunk, even though it's very simple. And yeah, I dig it a lot. Things that I'm not that keen on. So uh, let's start off with the flat laces. I know I just said I don't mind flat laces, but I don't like them when they've got the little fleck, like little flecks of other color on them. Not overly keen. Again, I'm not too sure what spare laces will go with these, but or come with these. But I think a nice oval dark navy laces look good. A nice oval uh, wheat lace would look smashing in this um, and even a white lace you could put in these again I'm not that keen on the tongue um, I like the fact you've got that little pull tab don't mind that you've got a nice suede looking label on there uh, in that wheat color but I'm just not overly keen on zips on the tongues I don't mind a little stash like flap but it almost makes the tongue a mix between a thin tongue and a fat tongue. Obviously you could pad out that tongue with putting stuff in it, but the zip's always flimsy. I don't see anyone actually putting stuff in them. <sighs> it's cool, but I'm just not overly keen on the zip uh, in, 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 in tongues personally. If you dig it, you dig it, but yeah, that's those are a few details I'm not overly keen on this pair, but overall, these are a must have in my opinion. I really, really, really like these. So, on to the next. So, the next pair is a light gray Nike SB Dunk uh, orange label. So, 
these I think are quite soon to release because they're seeing quite a lot of images of these at the moment. You're getting on feet and stuff like that. Really simple but clean colorway. I think these are a very appealing pair and obviously orange label you would hope for quality. So this is a white midsole, gum bottom, and then obviously the contrast of the uh, shield is like a, a light gray. You've got a light gray upper in a sort of like nubuck looking material, nubuck or suede, tumbled white leather swoosh, tumbled uh, heel tab with a contrasting uh, gray stitching. The tongue, it, in images it's quite hard to see that it's even like a really tight knit mesh or it is a suede either way it'd be cool but it would be really nice if it was a suede on the tongue tag you've got the orange swoosh to sort of like stand out that these are an orange label release you've got gray sock liner in your sort of traditional more hard wearing uh, material for the sock liner you've got the orange tab at the back of the tongue i'm hoping it would stay support your local you've got light gray oval laces stock and i would assume that you were going to get a, a nice white oval lace which would look amazing in these as well and then you have your nice orange tips because these are an orange label these might be a slightly more premium price so they might be over 100 pounds but very clean very nice and again it's another pair i am very excited for them to release on to the next one so this is another pair that I feel like is going to be released quite soon. This is a pair that we saw images last year. It is the Pawn Shop uh, Skate Co. Like skate Shop um, collaboration. It is a Nike SB Dunk High. And as simple as it is, I really like these. If you've watched any of my videos before, you know that I do like a, a black shoe. I like an easy wearable shoe and these are definitely that and they look like really nice materials and really subtle sort of like details to make these pop. So you've got a black mid, so a black bottom of the sole, a white midsole and then contrasting black stitching and that sort of aesthetic is, I love it. I think it's such a classic and it always works really well. Just trying to see if I've got an image of, ah, oh, and it's got a black. Oh, these are really nice. So these don't even have your squishy, squishy bit in the middle. I really like these. So they've got an old school sort of um, sole. I, yeah, I didn't notice that before. That's cool. Um, it looks like you've got quite a nice smooth leather upper. And it's like black, but it's like a, almost like it has like a brownie tinge to it. Right, I had to quickly jump back in um, on this pair, who is it, HS Los Angeles posted a reel. So the reason it does have a brownie tinge is because it's another wear away. Uh, under that toe box is like a gold, bronzy, brownie gold. And then behind the swoosh is the same. Now, it actually weirdly looks like once you remove that upper layer, it's almost like a new buck sort of material on that toe box and on the swoosh. And it also shows that you get boot like laces, round like rope boot like laces with these, again with the metal tips, which I'm not overly keen on to be honest with you, but you get bronzy sort of goldy brown looking oval SB laces with the gold tips and I think they absolutely slapping these so solid pair still anyway let's go back to me not knowing this information um, you've got gold stitching on the swoosh to make that stand out you've got gold stitching at the back and then you've got on the actual like wings you've got these like wings in gold um, it comes with black oval laces I'm, I'm assuming you'd get gold laces in these maybe maybe some white laces which would be cool um, and again going back to what I said earlier you've actually got metal on the lace holes again but on this pair on the, the hole just before the wings is really prominent and it's almost like a goldy silver almost like a ear tunnel on the tongue, what material is it? What material is it at the front? Was it leather or is it a mesh? Oh, these are good pictures. All right, so you've got a mesh um, tongue. You've got a leather tongue tag with gold Nike SB and pawn shop. 
nice detailing on that. You've got this like browny bronze trim around that. Uh, and then the sock liner looks so nice. Now, when I say that uh, they seem to be doing quite a lot of running themes with their releases, so the sock liner of this pair looks very similar to like material wise to the run the jewels and it almost looks like a nice soft suede felty feel it feels like it looks like it's going to feel really really comfortable and has that nice premium feel to it and that's in like a light beigey brown on the back of the tongue tag you've got pawn shop skate co and then the location and established and then old school old soul sorry I'm so used to saying old school. Um, and then you've got you've got metal tips on the on those laces. That is so nice. Ah, oh, and I think you've actually got detailing around that 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 what I said was like a tunnel uh, on there, which might actually say Pawn Shop Co. That's cool as well. There's little details in this. It looks like a very basic shoe, but you've got so much going for it. <laughs> it's really nice. And I've seen I've seen these skated as well, and they look really cool, beaten up as well. The left insole seems to have Nike SB, uh, so they're black insoles, and then the Nike SB is in white, and then on the right side you've got the logo for the skate shop, and it says Horn Shop. So, yeah, I reckon these are gonna be more of a premium price, and hopefully these are gonna be releasing quite soon. Um, and these are a must have for me. These are so easy to wear these are beautiful um, hopefully they'll be easier to get because not a lot of people seem to be into the highs and when they're majority black people sleep on them prime example of that is the Fausts they are a, such a nice uh, looking shoe materials are brilliant and they got slept on so hopefully this is similar with this pair and they'll be easy to obtain so to the next one Right, so this is the only pair that I'm not overly keen on that I've seen the teaser of. So this is the Fly Streetwear Nike SB Dunk Low. It is a nice shoe. It's probably going to look better in hand when I actually like like see people wearing it and stuff like that. The materials look really nice. I do like the colours. I just don't. Know, I, just, I just. I'm just. I'm just not sure at the moment. So you've got this almost like light grey bottom of the sole, an aged sort of like sail midsole. Nice blue in suede, like blue suede panels. And on those panels, you've also got this little like, um, almost like feather looking detail stitched into the heel. So it's nice to have obviously a stitched heel logo. You've got that same sort of design or they're trying to interpret it through the swoosh of that sort of like feather like material or that fly. Um, sort of design you've got a metal actual like looks like a staple at the back of that swoosh and then you've got this nice mint green heel tab as a little bit of contrast and but that does match the tips of the laces rope laces seem to come stock the rest of the panels so you've got it's almost like a light gray behind the heel a light gray uh, behind the swoosh on the heel and then it almost looks a bit brighter on that toe box it's quite a mix when you look at it it's a lot of details on it and now I'm looking at it more, it is an interesting pair. It does, it's nice, but I just don't know why I'm not overly keen on it yet. Leather tongue, I like the fact that you've got on the right uh, tongue tag, it says fly, and then on the left you've got Nike SB, that is a nice detail as well. And I weirdly like when they put the leather on the front of the tongues. It does look like nice material as well. So you've got, oh well, yeah, so you've got, um, like Asian writing on the insoles, contrasting white against that blue, and then obviously their little fly as well on there. Oh, they're pretty nice. They're not what I'd immediately go for, but I reckon I'm definitely gonna change my mind on these. Don't know their spare laces, but I would assume blue maybe, some blue laces, or some maybe some like oval cream or saily laces would look really nice in these, or maybe they've even got like that sort of like lime green lace again i feel like this is going to be more of a premium price um but yeah the more i look at these the more i do think they're actually pretty sweet now this is again on sneaker news and they were the images i think were from private selection so yes so i'm going to talk about these both together this is a run the jewels nike sp dunk low and then you've got a high 
uh, Run The Jewels, I don't really listen to their music. I didn't know anything about them until I saw this release. Um, but I do like the shoe. It's very loud, uh, the low, and again, they're using quite a lot of alternative laces in a lot of these newer releases. As leery as they are, I really like the highs, and even though it is that sort of like faux or like horse hair sort of animal hair material on it, I actually really like them. I think they really stand out. I'll talk about the highs after, let's start off with the lows. So someone actually said to me, which is a valid point, that these quite look like the, the Skeletor lows. Uh, I would much prefer the Skeletors, but the, yeah, I do definitely get where they're coming from. Um, I think again, people are really feeling these. They've got a nice mix of colors on them. Uh, and I think it's actually really well done. The only thing that was a shame is that earlier leaked images, you had their sort of logo uh, on the back of the hill tabs, which I thought was really nice, but it seems to be just like a friend and family release. That is now, that logo is, whatever it was, is now on the insoles. So starting off with the bottom of the sole, it's a semi-translucent in this light blue, and then it shows you the I'll run the jewels spell out. Um, nice, bold, dark navy on that Nike SB shield. And as much as I like semi-translucent soles, they, they get trash really quick. I used to say I love them, but over time, they, they just don't wear well. So that is why I actually don't like them as much now. I much prefer black bottom white midsole but it does look cool i have to admit it does look cool uh on the uppers so let's have a look at a good picture so you've got a mix of panels here so toe box is in this nice sort of teal color it looks like a suede oh, it does it look like a suede <laughs> uh, yeah like a suede on it suede darker blue around that toe box and then up behind the actual swoosh you've got this nice pinky red swoosh you got lighter sort of blue on the wing going around the back of the hill and on the eyelets and then you've got a nice light blue leather on the hill tab on then at the back of the hill and actually on the tongue so the tongue is leather at the front as i was saying before i quite like the leather on the front don't know why it maybe it's because it gives it that premium feel um You've got a gold looking Nike SB spell out on that front tongue tag, but it's also in a light blue, light blue piping around that. And then what is that sock liner? Oh, the images ain't that great on this. I think that looks almost like a suede on that sock liner. Let's have a little look. Right, so finally, got better images of that. It, that sock liner looks like a really like softy, suede, felty sort of material. And then their actual sock liner, the, no, sorry, their actual insole has a really nice velvety looking uh, material over the top in that in a nice blue. And then you've got you've got the logos at the bottom. Again, these are really nice. Um, I'm not overly keen on those weird laces that come with it. It'd be nice to see the alternate lace that comes with. Um, Hopefully it's a nice oval lace. But yeah, these are actually a solid pair. Um, again, I feel like it's gonna be more of a premium price and I actually feel like um, these are gonna be quite hard to obtain. To the highs, now, what I didn't mention is I feel like these are gonna be a 420 release. There was little uh, detailing on the back of the insoles that said certain dates and they both had like a 420 sort of connection. I think it was two different dates that meant something to the two uh, members of the group. And I, I like the fact that they've got all these little subtle details tying it in. And it's always interesting to have a 420 release. 420 releases are always more interesting, I feel. Uh, and the high is definitely an interesting one. And I actually feel like it, it will be a more easier to obtain pair because obviously people seem to sleep on highs and these are pretty wacky. So where is that image? I must have got these, yeah, there we go. I really like these. So looking at it, so you've got that sort of like ready pink on the bottom of the sole, but you've got a really vibrant yellow on that Nike SB shield. You've got 
the around the toe box, the eyelets, and then the wing to the back of the heel. You got that pink again, and it's that faux sort of like hair, like that sort of like pony hair sort of look to it, which is something I'm not normally overly keen on, but I just really, really like these. You've got a really nice black looking tumbled leather on the rest of the panel, so on the toe box, behind the swoosh, and then the top of the cuff. And that swoosh is almost made to look like a jewel. And again, I really, really like that. So stock laces that they've shown in the images are almost like a weird sort of like rope lace again, but I, I prefer them to the laces that are in the lows. And then you have their logos on little debris. So that's really cool. Whether those debris are gonna be included on the retail pair, you just never know. Could be just like a friends and family, but hopefully they are included because that'd be absolutely sick. Leather front of the tongue again in that black leather. You've got a pink uh, tag with a contrasting black Nike SB text. And yeah, the sock liner looks like it's in that nice velvety, almost like suede looking feel again, which oh, if it is, it'd be really comfortable. And yeah, I really, really like these. I'm guessing or assuming, because I haven't got images on here, that it's gonna have the logoing again on the same on the insoles. And again, I feel like these are gonna be more of a premium price point. But out of the two, I prefer the highs. I know the lows are really nice and I probably will change my opinion, but I am 100% going for these highs. They are wicked. Yeah, right. On to the next one. Right, so this one is very exciting, even though it's very simple. So this is hopefully a Nike SB Dunk Mid that's gonna release in 2023. It's like a light gray and black colorway. Uh, obviously, I'll be putting images on the screen and I'm definitely getting this. This I'm definitely getting. Oh, hello, didn't even see. So we've got another one as well. Didn't even see that on the feed. So let's start off with this one. I've only got an image of the side. So it's got that really nice sole, which I like the best. So you've got a black bottom, a white midsole, and I wouldn't even be surprised if it didn't have the squishy um, center part. Pff, maybe, that'd be really cool if it didn't. You've got nubuck or suede light gray panels around the toe box, the eyelets, and then that wing round to the back of the heel. You've got a nice suede looking swooshes on there. Gray um, oval laces, and then you've got gray trim around the tongue itself, but then the rest is all black, and it looks like black tumbled leather. So you've got black tumbled leather on the toe box, behind the swoosh, and around the cuff. You've got a black tongue, and then a black tongue tag with gray text. And it's really simple, really clean, and it's so nice to get a mid. These are wicked. I reckon these are come with spare black laces. And then I've just scrolled down, and we, oh, there's quite a few GR non-SB mids coming out. Ah, oh, uh, yeah, and this is one of them. So I will quickly talk about this, because it, it has sort of, um, an SB aesthetic to it because it's in canvas. Nike Dunk Mid Multicolor Canvas. So I'm assuming if it's a multicolor canvas, it's tear away. Um, and this is just like an all black canvas up part with a sort of like gray swoosh, white midsole, and then black bottom of sole. Clean pair though. Very skatable as well with that canvas. Right, but yeah, that is the, um, the mid. I'm very excited about that pair, very excited. Nike is bringing back GR colorways of the Nike Dunk Mid, and we all wanted it. So the next uh, pairs I'm gonna be talking about, I don't really have images of, and it's sort of like rumored releases. So, oh, no, tell a lie. Let's talk about the Doritos. Right, so next we're gonna be looking at the Nike SB Dunk Low Jaritos collaboration. Jaritos? probably pronouncing it wrong, I apologize. It's not a brand, uh, a drink that we have in the UK, and if we do have it, I don't see it often. Uh, these, again, images leaked last year, and people were really excited about them. The mock-ups were completely different to the way it actually looks um, now these pairs have been in hand. 
but they're very nice still and I'm excited to get this pair if I can and I think a lot of people will be trying to get this pair because it's such a clean colorway and it is got a nice detailing to it and obviously you've got that Jari Jaritos collaboration. So looking at the shoe, you've got a white midsole with contrasting orange stitching and at the bottom of the sole you've got green and orange. Uh, on that upper, so the actual um, backing is majority white, so you've got what looks like white leather toe box behind the swoosh and around the top of the cuff, and then the rest of the panels uh, are like a hessian sack, so you've got this lighter brown hessian sack and then this green sort of like canvasy sack material on the swooshes. Sock liner is white, you've got a nice white tongue, puffy. So if you've watched my videos before, you might have noticed I love a Nike SB white tongue when it's puffy. Uh, you've got Nike SB on the tongue tag and it's a green and orange sort of mix up. So with the color of the branding of the collaboration, you've got the sort of female figure on the heels stitched in in green and orange uh, again to show the branding and then you've got white laces stock white oval laces stock with orange tips it also comes with green laces that have i would assume sorry it also comes with orange laces that i would assume have green tips and then you have green laces that are almost like a twisted rope which I don't mind, they're probably not what I'd prefer in them, but it's a cool touch and it's nice to have that. And then the other thing with these is they have the tear away or rip away or cut away panel. So all of the Hessian sack or like that sort of like sack canvas material has a rip away. So underneath that is orange, if I remember correctly. I'm pretty sure it was, I'm not gonna find that picture. But yeah, behind the swoosh and behind those panels is orange. Cool feature to have, obviously it looked really nice, all stripped off, and then you've got your orange laces, but I am getting a little bit tired of all of these rip away sort of panels, uh, a lot of the time because I'm not gonna rip them away because I'm, I'm not really the biggest fan of cutting my shoes, but it is cool to have, but yeah, it's a little bit tiresome in my opinion. Again, like I said, you've got these running themes, you've got that stitching around the top ones on that sort of wing cuff area. Insoles are really cool, so white insoles, and then you've got the sort of like little bits of fruit and the, the Doritos, I keep saying Doritos, Jaritos. I'm gonna get roasted. Um, branding on the heel of that insole. I reckon these would be probably more of a premium price, and yeah, they're definitely a must have. These are wicked. Oh yeah, and you've got, you've got that branding again as well on the heel tab, I forgot to mention that. They're wicked, yeah. All these pairs I'm talking about, tell me what you think. So like, you can you leave loads of comments. You like, once I'm talking about one pair, you leave a comment on that. Once I talk about another pair, you leave a comment on that. All fun and games, isn't it? So now I am actually going to the pairs that haven't actually got really official images of them yet. Let's do it. Starting off, starting off with one I'm really excited about. So that's a Nike SB Dunk Born and Raised collaboration. Now. Uh, I would assume it's a low, but it could be a high, or they could have both. Um, I saw last year that they were teasing that they were going to be doing collaborations with Nike. Uh, Born and Raised is a brand I really like. Two guys, I'm going to say his name wrong, I'm sorry. Spata, Spato, Sparto, Spento. I apologise, I can't pronounce his name. Uh, cool dude, obviously Venice, homegrown. Uh, and then you've got Two Tone. Uh, loves his graffiti, does a podcast. I really like their stuff. I have to admit, it's a little bit frustrating buying from them because of where they're based in America and it takes so long to get to the UK and then you get customs fees and also it's a lot of the stuff is pre-ordering it and then it takes so long for it actually to be sent out. So to get a Nike product from them, which will get to you quickly is nice to know. So we don't have any images of the actual dunk itself. But I would assume that it will have the born and raised uh, like text stitched into the hills. And if it does, lovely. Uh, but yeah, I, I, I'm not too sure. Two Tone doesn't really seem like the uh, the sneaky head out of the duo. Um, Sparto, Spanto, Sparto, oh, sorry mate. 
uh, he always has loads of different sneakers and seems to be sent a lot of the newest releases so I think it's going to be mainly his input on this one but for some reason I feel like they're going to have a really interesting uh, insole yeah we'll have to wait and see so on to the next so this is an interesting one so this just popped up quite recently let's see if I've got the little the Heineken 2.0 Nike SB Dunk. So could be a low, could be a high. We have no idea. Obviously, this is a very iconic shoe that what it's going to be based on, or it's the number two of uh, from 2003. Uh, very rare pair now that for a DS pair, it's in the thousands to buy. Really cool, really iconic. I do like the colorway. I do like. I do like it, but it's not one that I would ever really chase chase. It'd be interesting to see the 2.0, and obviously I'd like to hope that it's gonna, well, it should be more obtainable. And it'd be really interesting to see how they do the cut, whether they have that more of the OG cut, or whether they go for a more uh, updated cut and stuff like that. That is what really interests me on that release. So yeah, we'll have to wait and see on that one, but that's quite an exciting one, isn't it? Yeah. Anyway, on to the next. <laughs> right, so the next one is the Nike SB Dunk Supreme. So again, could be a high, could be a low. They've obviously done previous dunks uh, with Nike SB. Supreme, uh, I, the actual clothes and the stuff itself is really cool, but I've never really been into it. I do like the shoes they've released, and I even like the really off key releases they do with Nike when it comes to like different silhouettes and stuff like that. When it comes to the Supreme Dunk releases, I like, um, I'm not so keen on the highs. I like, they're cool, obviously really iconic, but I'm not so keen on highs when it's the old highs with the puffy tongues. I like the recent lows. I wasn't that keen on the jeweled lows they did. Although I feel like in years to come, you might look at them and think, oh, they're a bit quirky, but the materials on that, those look trash. I wasn't able to obtain the recent release of the lows, um, and they are they do look nice. I really like them. I would maybe like to get them at some point, but yeah, a very expensive pair. So it'd be really, really interesting to see how they go about this, whether it's a high, whether it's a low, whether there's gonna have multiple colors again. Um, someone sent me a, a mock-up of what someone thinks they might look like, which I will put on screen. Again, we don't know what it's gonna look like just yet. Uh, when it comes to Nike SB and Supreme, my favorite out of all their releases is still the Blazers, the OG ones, because they just look so premium and I just I like the little details of like almost like that little Gucci sort of colouring on the back of them and that. Yeah, the, I got the newest ones. Uh, they're pretty cool, but they're they're just not up to par with the previous ones. But yeah, I think everyone's going to be excited about the Supreme Nike SB Dunk uh, latest release in 2023. 2023. So. I think that's all the ones from the preview ones. I'm now gonna talk about one last one that isn't a dunk, and I think you're gonna know what that is. Uh, but yeah, let's get to it. So the last one is the upcoming um, Air Jordan 4 with Nike SB. Uh, I know that, again, we saw images last year. We saw um, Eric, we saw P-Rod testing out what looked like a black cat. Uh, Black Cat uh, Jordan 4, I actually had that pair. I managed to get it for retail and I wore it nonstop because it was just so easy to wear. I do like the Jordan 4 silhouette, but I ended up selling it because I sold it for more money than I paid for it, even though it was beat up and I was able to get some Nike SB Dunks. So is what it is. Um, when it comes to the recent mock-up images, so you've got, it was like, let's get it up on the screen. Um, almost like a sail or off-white color with like a Celtic looking green. Um, it'd be an interesting one. I, I've also heard that there's gonna be um, quite a few different colorways, uh, whether they will release loads at once or like a few at once, I'm not sure. This is gonna be a very interesting release because you have, you have SB heads, you have people that uh, like collect Jordans or Jordan 4s, you've got skaters that are gonna wanna skate and there's quite, uh, a mixed group of people that are wanna, gonna want to acquire these, especially because it is also the first time that they've done 
um, and Nike SB Jordan 4. The detailing that I will really like if they do actually go ahead with it is the fact that it have Nike Air and then SB on the heel tab. I think that's really cool. Again, as I said, I do like the fours, but it is a very expensive retail pair. And the fact that you're paying near on 200 pound uh, without paying resale, and then you're gonna smash them up on grip tape. It's just a bit insane to me, really. Like, there's so many other skate shoes you can get. Obviously, they might not look as cool as a Jordan 4. But yeah, it's just a very interesting route to go down. I will definitely be trying to obtain a pair because I want to see the materials. And I do have to admit, I do like the Jordan 4 and it's an Nike SB at the end of the day. So it'd be very, very interesting. Um, yeah, that's it from the little rundown of the upcoming 2023. I might cut this into two parts if it's too long. I might just do a really long video and I also might do a follow up on um, other releases that seem to pop up or anything that I've missed. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. It's a little bit different from what I normally have been doing. Obviously I haven't got anything in hand. But yeah, thank you for sticking with me. Thank you for watching. It's Woodsy out.